What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Panthers Advice. Today man, we'll be taking a look at some kick returns, new receiver Deion Kane, and going over expectations for the season man. Let's get into it. First let's talk about Deion Kane. Let's talk about Deion Kane real quick. Now the Panthers signed Deion Kane from the Buffalo Bills releasing him this past offseason. All right. Deion Kane drafted in the sixth round by the Indianapolis Colts. He's been in the league for about seven years, give or take. Now, did the Panthers get Deion Kane to be receiver or kick returner? My guess is kick returner because of this new format. You know, the past three games we watched the Bills, the Patriots, and the Jets in the preseason. Nobody really caught my eye. I mean, Amir definitely did his thing a time or two. But nobody, I was like, okay, this is for sure the guy I want at kick return. Deion Kane. I believe the last two years, he's been in the USFL returning kicks like this right here. And this is something you're going to see a lot of, right? They take it from the right and then bang, bounce that thing all the way back to the other side. This is why I think the Panthers drafted him, because he's seen a thing or two. Now, what do I mean by that? Teams that play the Chiefs have no idea what to expect with Andy Reid. They have zero idea what to expect. However, teams that played the Panthers week one through week eight, they knew what to expect. Double hitches, slants over the top, halfback dives. That was basically it. So when you played the Panthers, DBs knew exactly what to look for. When you played the Chiefs, you know, who knows what Andy Reid was going to draw up. Now, with that being said, the kickoff return is almost like the Panthers offense. And what I mean by that is because you have to line up. Take a look right here. You have to line up like this right here. Ten guys right here on the kicking team, right? So no matter who the returner is, he's going to know all 10 of these guys right here have to be at the 40. Now, yes, they can line up over here, over here, over here, over here. But for the most part, the returner knows what to expect. So if we get somebody who's been doing this thing for a year or two, we've seen somebody who's been doing a few kickoffs, they know what to expect. Because I'm sure guys in the USFL, right, the special team coordinators, they've drawn up things and tried to, you know, stack let's say the 40 yard line bang you kick it over here to the right side or stack this 40 over here you kick it to the left you know i'm sure Deion kane has seen that look a time or two right so best case you bring him in and he's a star worst case you bring him in and then he can coach the other kick returners okay when they stack the left side or right side this is what to expect and this is the kind of hole you need to look for to hit right so that's my take on that. Let's continue to look at more Deion Kane film, and then we'll jump to the Panther stuff. Right here, we're going to look at Deion Kane being a receiver, outside receiver, catches it on the slant pass. This one, I mean, I wasn't too excited about, only because you get your flat route right here, right? Deion Kane, he's going to be the slant, bang, slant right over the top. Honestly, I thought this should have been picked off before being real about this. Take a look, right? QB's ready to throw it right there. Deion's expecting the ball. This safety right there. Safety backer, number 31. You got to turn around at some point, right? You're picking up the slant route. You see him expecting the ball. Just turn around. I thought, honestly, this should have been picked off. I mean, great catch by Deion Kane. Not taking anything away from him right there. But, I mean, you're playing the slant. <laughs> you got to turn around at some point, man. Let's keep it going. Right here, you're going to see Deion Kane with another kick return. You're going to see, once again, starts on the outside, weaves to the middle, then bounces it back to the outside again. And that's something you're going to see a lot of. We're going to take a look at that in the film in a second. But you're going to see a lot of teams, what they're going to do, you're going to see a lot of teams that are going to squeeze the middle and then try and work the way back to the outside. That's something you're going to see a lot of. Now, maybe that was just preseason, and that won't happen during the regular season. But in preseason, that was a very common thing. Let's take a look at a couple more catches real quick. So right here is going to be the outside receiver at the top of your screen. Nice little catch over the DB right here. Now, could he start on the team? I mean, I don't know, guys. Here, here's my take with this. Would you want XL or Mingo to be the kick returner? XL's already having injury problems to a point. My thing is no. I don't think XL is going to do enough to be the kick returner where I'm okay if he gets hurt. All right? I, I wouldn't be, right? Especially if he's already having injury problems. Same thing with Kane, though, right? If Kane is the best returner by far... I don't want him coming in on a random third and five during the regular season to get a first down, right? Let's say he gets hurt. Now we're back to square one, and we don't have a returner. Next play we're going to look at right here. QB is going to roll out. Kane's going to do a good job tracking this ball. Take a look right here. QB throws it up. Kane basically dives in the end zone and brings that thing in. So can he catch? Yes. 
But the next clip right here I'm going to show you is the reason the Panthers bring him in. To me, he's got that track speed. And what do I mean by that? He's not the fastest out of the gate, but the more he runs, the more he opens up. It's like a next level speed. Take a look at this one right here. Same thing I told you guys as before. Start on the outside, bring it to the middle, and then bang. Keep going to the outside because, like I said, those teams have a tendency to squeeze the middle, and if you get to the outside, you're gone. So with that being said, man, let's take a look at some Panthers preseason kickoffs, and then we'll call it a wrap. So right here, man, we're going to take a look at some kickoffs against the Patriots, the Bills, and the Jets. Not a bad return right here, but like I said before, remember, all teams squeeze the middle. So going up the middle is going to be tough. Right here, I think this was Deshaun. Yep, Deshaun right here. You're going to see he starts in the middle, then bounces that thing back to the outside. Take a look. All these guys right here, bang. All squeezing right there. So if you get it out here, you're looking at an extra 5 to 15 yards. Take a look. Bang. Bounce it out right there. Obviously, you need somebody with speed. Let's take a look at the next one. Next one we're going to look at right here is going to be Deshaun again. Now, here's the thing with this. Sometimes... You know, you can outrun your coverage right here. You can almost outrun your block. So what do I mean by that is take a look right here. He's so quick to go up the middle. He's almost going to outrun, I think, Boone right there, his lead blocker. So what happens next? By the time he wants to cut to the outside, he's up there with everybody else. So when you're being a kick returner, you can't go full speed. Now we're going to jump to the kickoffs against the Bills. Well, the kickoff returns, right? Take a look what happens. Returner gets it. Bang. You already have Bills right here at the 20-yard line. Our guy is only on, what, the 13-yard line? Bang. He's getting brought down right there at the 15. Let's take a look at the next one right here. They kick it off. Take a look what happens. At the 15-yard line, two guys. Two guys right here already pushing the returner. He just got to the 15. How are the Bills doing that? Let's run it back real quick. So something I noticed with the Bills is that they're going to stack their guys in the middle, right? Like I said, most teams are going to squeeze the middle as it is. But look how close their guys are right here. All right, you're going to see doubles right here on the hash. So the right hash, doubles right there. Left hash, there's doubles. Let's take a look at the Jets real quick. So as we look at the Jets, three guys right here on the outside. Hash, semi-close, not as close as the Bills. Once again, close, but not as close. And then three guys on the numbers. Remember, if you look at the Bills right here, you're going to see they don't have three guys on the numbers. They have two, right? And they stack the hashes. They basically stack the middle, right? And that's how they shot through the gaps every single time. Take a look at this. Just shot through the gaps. Now, why does that happen? Take a look right here. Returner is going to get it. The kick return team guys have to turn around and basically run towards the ball carrier. They can't leave until he catches it or the ball hits the ground, I believe. So they have to turn their back. If the Bills can push two guys towards one, that returner is going to have to hesitate. And like, oh, who do I pick up, outside or inside? So if you shoot two guys towards the same guy, he can only pick up one, and someone's bound to break free, right? Take a look what happens. Somebody is bound to break free, and that's what the Bills' strategy was, and that's why they did a better job than the Patriots or the Jets did because they've already figured this thing out. Shoot those gaps right there. The kick return team has to turn their back. When they turn around, two guys going at them full speed. Who do they pick up? And honestly, can you pick up somebody going full speed at you? I mean, you know, it's it's a tough thing. Let's take a look at one more play real quick. So we have a couple more plays left to go over. Amir Smith-Marset right here in the backfield. Do I wish he was the returner? Yes. All right. Yes, at the beginning of the video, I was kind of fluffing a little bit, saying, you know, he had a couple good runs. No. Look at the difference between Amir returning this with two guys in his face. Right? Take a look. Bang. He's naturally quick. Take a look at more right here. Take a look what happens. Same kind of logic applies right here. Two guys in his face. He slips up again. We saw him slip up earlier. He slips up again. Amir smith said he's just naturally more gifted to do this kind of thing, right? He sees things happening before they happen, just like DBs, just like receivers. Amir smith said he's gifted at this. They chose to keep more. You know, it is what it is. Should they have kept Amir? I think you've got to find a place for him, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe Dion will surprise me. Let me know your thoughts, guys. That's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know your expectations for this season. All I want to see is improvement from Bryce Young, from Mingo, edge rushers, defensive backs. 
because this team could look brand new in a couple of years. So who's going to be on the team? You know, we'll see what happens because remember, this is a whole new front office, and a whole new front office means they want to bring their guys in. So we'll see what happens, man. Stay tuned. A lot of videos coming this week. I'm excited. And we're talking about Nick Saban taking a shot at Bryce. Man. All right. That's going to wrap it up. Six more days, five more days, depending on when you watch this video, maybe four or three more days until the first game. Let's get it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Panthers advice is out.